Yara Hill, lecturer professor Dr. Makurda, Symbolism Through Art. For hundreds of years, Africans and African Americans were held captive, not only physically, but also mentally and emotionally as well. There was so much taken from us during this time, and we did not have freedom or equality to stop these actions towards us. Europeans were not satisfied with just stealing natural resources from Africans. They also wanted to imprison the minds of the enslaved African people. In order to combat the effects of such oppression, Renee Stout uses her artwork to bridge the gap between African and African-American cultural tradition through the aspects of art such as symbolism. The painting Marie Laveau symbolizes envy, jealousy, and fallacies. So by looking at this picture, one can assume that the artist of this painting wanted this picture to symbolize the fallacy of colonialism in Africa. The European people justified colonialism by stating they were trying to better the inhumane African people, but really they were just using them for their natural resources. Marie Laveau represents an African during the colonialism era that is not aware of what is going on around her, but the snake in her hair and her green eyes show that all this is happening right in front of her. As most Africans were during this era, she is unaware of what is going on, or she is aware, but because of her lack of freedom, she is unable to do anything about being colonized. The crying mirror symbolizes the suffering that Africans and those of African descent have gone through. Taken from the motherland of Africa, taken from their families and loved ones, taken from hopes, dreams, and aspirations. There are so many reasons Africans could have wanted to break down, cry, and give up. Looking in a mirror and realizing that the life you are being forced to live is not fair and you should not have to experience the pain. I believe Stout's art wanted to symbolize the trials and tribulations of Africans. Pretty Poison at Passion Paradise symbolizes the colonization that Africans were forced into. Diaspora Africans were taught to believe and trust the white man. Looking at this picture, one could predict that the artist wanted us to think the woman in the picture did not want to be African American because of the color of the woman's hair in the portrait. Another perspective could say that the artist of the painting believed that because African Americans were trained to believe that the color of their skin and their natural hair was not considered beautiful, that the woman in the picture thought she had to look European descent in order to be pretty. One could assume from the eyes of a person of European descent that these pictures are well put together. Assumptions can also be made from a person of African descent that these pictures remind them of the countless number of years that they were captured from their motherland and forced to be something they were not. Not only were they captured and forced to be something they were not, but they were also captured mentally. They were forced to believe things that they had known were wrong. The way they looked, the way they talked, the things they believed in, wrong. Through the work of art produced by Stout, she is able to bridge the gap in African and African-American cultural tradition through the aspect of art, symbolism.